Greetings and salutations, you guys, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today at the Goodwill in Santa Ana, California at the Goodwill Marketplace. And if you guys love thrifting, thrift house vlogs, home decor, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. I do post videos every single day. Add me on Instagram, it's Hadrian, just like I spelled here, and check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from at Thrifting Adventures. But without further ado, let's hop in the store and go check it out. I'm really excited. We're gonna go to the regular store first, then afterwards, we're gonna go head over to the computer work store. I'll see you guys All there. All right, you guys, let's go inside. Check it out. We're looking at like a fake tree in the window. Kind of interesting. Looks like the doors are not open. Oh, this coach is a really cute. It's thirty-five dollars, so but I feel like this one's worth it. It's a really cute style. Okay, let's see what else is over here in the handbag section. I'm pretty pleased with this coach that I found. Oh, we guys, time out. This is the Michael Kors Hamilton. $8.99, black soft on a leather. This just needs a cleaning. Ooh, look at this really cute silver bag right here. It's so metallic. Is that a bow detail? You had me at bow detail. 15. Oh, this is a Ted Baker. Ted Baker. Hot diggity dog. <gasps> We're finding handbags here. I haven't found handbags here. And so hey, look. Okay, literally, they were just like, what are the odds? Someone probably was like looking at them. And <laughs> so we're like, I'm not going to get them. How much is this Kate Skate? This one's kind of cute. Six ninety nine is not bad. Okay, let's hold on to these. Pretty excited. Goodness gracious. What else are we gonna find? I'm like so excited. And I was excited for this coach bag. Now look at me. All these other ones. <laughs> okay, any other interesting things? Let us see. Ah! What is this guy? It's probably just like a, actually kind of feels like leather. Uh, towel books. Okay. This is like an interesting design. But this one's like a pleather bag. This one. Tia Neal. That's what they have here. I don't know what that says. Uh, but these are just like more pleather bags. Here are some that they have attached to this thing. They have a Calvin Klein. The design of this one is kind of cool. I think that's leather. We got a coach for 35 Another coach right there, but the color transfer is intense. There's this Michael Kors right here for $25. Um, needs a lot of work though. It's not the worst, TBH, but the, it needs like a color touch up all around for sure. You guys, I found a cart. It's like full of tissues or something, but um, I just noticed that this was green. How fabulous is that? Now I wanted to try like that method where you like wash it or like you, you clean it in water and you soak it up and then you stuff it and let it dry or something to that effect. So that might be actually like pretty interesting to try. Especially on a green bag. See if it'll really restore that color. So I don't know. Let's see. A couple more handbags on this side, but... Ooh, for these slippers. This green bag is like an interesting design, but it's cool there too. Let's see if there's any cool shoes to be seen. Bunch of Steve Madden. Okay, so far, nothing too exciting. Just a BCBG. Saw some Michael Kors. I 
they are kind of busted. Look at that chair. Oh my gosh, this is like that Target guy. That's cute, there's two of them. Oh, this one's torn. How much are they asking for? Ah! Price is $40. This is like, <laughs> there we go, we fixed them. Look at this little side table, is it cement? No, it's sort of plastic. $50, it's pretty cute, I like the neutral color. Oh, look at this. A little poof. A little dirty looking though, and, you know. So currently I am in like the glass and crystal section. Uh, it's really loud, like the music is intense. And I'm also singing along because the music's really good. So um, I'm gonna put you guys away for a little bit and I'll show you guys if I find anything. Okay you guys, I found this Rogaska, um, what are these called? It's like a wine coaster. Oh, check it out. I also found this Hydro Flask in lemon yellow, $2.99. Hot diggity dog. Alright, so I am now in the plate section. Oh, look at this. Artful environments. That's kind of pretty. I like that. Ikea plates. Ooh, these look like the Emma. I think the Emma doesn't have like that ridge inside. Yeah, not Pottery Born Emma plate. That's okay. Home trends. That's kind of nice. Might be Target. No. That's a little no filk. Ooh, are these chargers? Wow, those are like crazy. $1.99 each. They weigh a ton. It's like silver and then like gold leaf inside. Is that what that is? I think so. Interesting. Anyone know about this design? It kind of reminds me of um, Pyrex. I don't have any markings though. Checking what's under here. I really like this plate, like the design. I think there's like a little tulips and it has gold gilt. Pyro Serum Brand Tableware by Corning. Happy Anniversary. Oh my gosh. My inner grandma is screaming. Look at those flowers. Oh, wow. Oh, I kind of like this shirt. Looks like it used to be part of something else. Found some Pyrex poppers. Ooh, what's this? Olive and Time. Nope. Gallery of China. Oh, those are pretty little flowers. The class of course. Five sixty-two. That's interesting too. Me class of fine china. Oh, precious moments. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Seven ninety nine. I like that it's black and gold on the inside. It's really pretty. This little side table is actually kind of cute. It's a party one, but it's thirty five bucks. Kind of liking these chairs. They're looking pretty cool. Oh, this side table is pretty nice too. Alright, you guys, just got everything inside the car. Now we're gonna go over to the computer store around the corner. Looking at the computer, there's this MacBook. I literally have a million iPhones, too. Oh, I think this is just this monitor. 140. I just saw this um, LG TV. That's that one right there. It is $350 and $519.99 on the website. 
Interesting. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house. I'm really excited to show you guys what we ended up getting today. I feel like I have like this mark on my shirt. I don't know what it is. I think it was like, I, I was like brushing my teeth this morning before I left. Right, anyway. <laughs> What is up? We are back at the house. I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift. So, let's start off first with yet another hydro flask. Like, I mean, it's raining hydro flasks recently. I think this is the fourth yellow one that I found. And I think the second one that looks like this that I found. Uh, the other one is like in my room. I feel like this one is going to clean up really, really well. It's not very dented. It just has like a little one right there. So, that's perfect. If I get like a little like sock for it, then that'll be great. I actually think I might send this one to my aunt in the Philippines because yellow is her favorite color and this one is actually in pretty great shape so she was like if you find one at thrift I want it and I was like yes I will send it to you so yellow is our favorite color we share that together Auntie Violi if you're watching I got you so very excited about that and then next up we have this little guy and this is actually like you know like when you have like a cold wine or something or do, do you freeze or do you have cold wine or champagne you like put it in here you know so that it doesn't sweat all over the table it's kind of like a wine bottle coaster I think is what I don't know what the proper name is so comment down below if you guys know what it's called the brand for this where did it go is a Rogaska and I was looking at them up like their stuff is actually pretty expensive and really cute and I actually really really like this I would use this we don't drink alcohol but like I mean if we have like a sparkling cider or something and we wanted to put it in here that would be perfect you can actually use this too for like you have like some peanuts you can put it in there for a little snackaroo or whatever so I don't know I think it's really really cute and it can have a multiple multiple uses you don't just have to use it as a coaster for your alcoholic beverage I mean you could put a soda in here it'd be fantastic so I feel like there's a lot of uses for this this was only three dollars and 99 cents so very very happy with this purchase again if you guys have been watching this channel and me for a while you guys know how obsessed I am with like a crystal anything just like give me all the crystal I love it but I try to like limit myself to like certain like brands or I don't know whatever just so that that way I don't like over go crazy buying that stuff also the hydro flask was two dollars and 99 cents okay so up next uh let me share with you guys this kate spade crossbody bag i think i have thrifted this bag so many times at least seven times in different colors uh, numerous times in this black Safiano leather it's really really cute i love this turn lock that it has i feel like that is really unique and then it opens up like this and this one was only six dollars and 99 cents and then in the inside there's just like one like kind of like card smaller pocket right there and this is actually big enough to put your iphone this is like the largest iphone size and that fits in there really easily with my pop socket and a case so that is awesome this is a really really cute little bag it's like perfect for every day if you're just like running around and running errands or you can even use this as kind of like an evening bag smaller carry it across your body like that and it's awesome Ooh, or like a gorgeous out bag or whatever you can even like tuck the strap into the bag itself and then you just have a kind of like a little clutch so again there's multiple different ways you can wear this bag and i love that about bags with the versatility that you can use them for so really really cute bag i thought it was a great price and so i got it then up next we have this beautiful ted baker when i saw this i was like wow like the color i don't even know if the color is showing up properly but it is reflective like this metallic silver is spectacular like let me tell you in person in daylight this is so cool. like this bag is like tin foil it's so cool but it's leather and it just has like this cool silver treatment or whatever to it and it is fantastic i also do enjoy the like i don't know if you would call that like a rose gold or a copper uh but i love that and then on if you look closely there's like a little bow on there's like a t like for ted baker and then it's like a bow like it's really really cute like the details are beautiful it has like the little ted baker logo at the bottom i don't know if it's popping up but it's beautiful it's really cute and the straps are like a great length you can carry this bag super easily on your shoulder with tons of room to spare so got oh there's also I'm gonna show you guys the pouch. It also does come with a removable pouch clutch thing as well. Also leather, beautiful. I love that it's just like, the inside is just like the inside part of the leather, the suede. And I love bags that are like that. So this bag is beautiful. It's beautifully made and I enjoy it. It's in fantastic condition. The inside is actually in pretty good shape. There's a couple little pen marks inside, but again, once you're using it, you're not really gonna see it, but the exterior is in fantastic shape. I'm looking at the corners and I feel like like there's not really any wear at all on the 
corners, which is fantastic. So this bag is in great shape, ready for a new home. Again, love the metallic silver. It just brings a smile to my face whenever I see that. Like, it's really, really pretty. Honestly, if it was a larger tote bag, I would probably keep it for myself. But those, like, me more medium-sized bags, I feel like, are, like, a weird size on me. So I always go for, like, the really, really large tote bags. Those are one of my favorites. So up next, we have this beautiful Michael Kors Hamilton. This is in a black Safiano leather with gold hardware. I mean, the Michael Kors Hamilton is like a favorite here. I always try to pick them up when I see them if they're in good enough shape to fix up. And this one is pretty good. It's in black Safiano leather, like I said, with gold hardware. There's the lock key thing is right here. Has the shoulder strap. Now this one, like you can't wear it cross body, unfortunately, but if you wanted, you can attach another strap to this and then wear it cross body if you wanted. And then the inside has one zipper pocket and two open pockets and a little key fob thing. It's not actually too bad in there. It's just like needs a little vacuuming because there's just like some lint and stuff, some glitter inside. But this bag was only $8.99. Oh, how much was a Ted Baker? Ted Baker was $15. Why am I singing? Okay, then up next, this one I was most excited about and I actually looked up this bag and I forgot the name. It was like the, it wasn't the court. It was like very similar to the court. Oh, the Coach Plaza. Plaza Court Bag, I think that's what it's called. Coach Plaza. No, Coach Plaza bag. So that's what this is. It's in a beautiful like hunter green color. I mean, it is in really great shape to be honest. There's a little bit of lightning on the corners of the bag, but that's to be expected with the age of this. This is made in USA and with the older bags, like that just tends to happen. I will condition it and it'll probably darken up and um, be good to go. I did want to try like, someone actually messaged me about this and I have been wanting to try it for a while. And I don't know if any of you guys, if any of you guys have ever tried it, but comment down below if you guys did. It's that method where you soak the bag to like clean it and add moisture back into it and then you stuff it to when it, like when it dries to bring the shape back and it's supposed to like make your bag look super brand new and good again so I wanted to try it but I feel like this wouldn't be much of a transformation like honestly the bag is in pretty great shape as is and I feel like it just really needs a little bit of conditioning on the corners and it's gonna look good so um, I'm probably not going to do that method to this I'm just still looking for another bag that I can try that out on so keep your fingers crossed that I find one so I can do that uh, because yeah I really want to try it. like honestly I've been thinking about it and I think it's about time that I actually tried it because I have been thinking about doing this for years and I never do it so here we go this bag is beautiful this bag was more expensive though than the other ones how much was it again this one was $35 but it is beautiful and I know one of you guys is going to love it so don't forget to check this out in the shop at tatering.com the link is down below in the description box if you guys want to check that out to see what I have for sale but this will definitely hopefully be there by the time you see this video and then I just have a couple more things to share with you guys um i actually got two of these and then one of these so uh my cousins alexa and rianne are here right now well alexa lives here now rianne is visiting from the philippines but they have been telling me about this oil of olay or regenerous retinol 24 stuff and apparently like this is really popular from TikTok or something and it has just been selling out everywhere and everyone's trying it, everyone loves it. It's supposed to be amazing, life changing and all that stuff. I already have a retinol that I use in my skincare regimen. I mean, I'm always open to trying new things, especially when I find this stuff at the thrift store. So I was actually almost gonna buy these at Target when we were there, but they were not on sale. I believe these retail for about $43. And then they told me to go to like CVS, I think, where it was on sale for a few bucks cheaper. And I was like, okay, Okay. I never actually made it to CVS since um, I saw them, but while I was at the Goodwill, I saw these in the case and I was like, you know what? That's what they were talking about. I took pictures of them, sent it to them and they were like, yeah, that's it. You have to get it. Um, so this went from like $43 to $13, which is fantastic. I got two of them. I'm going to get, like, I have one for myself and I'm going to give mom one of these to try out as well. And then I also wanted to try out the night serum. I do love a good serum. Serums are my favorite. So I'm really excited to try these out. This one was $10 and I think it was like at the store. I feel like it was more expensive than this one. I don't remember, but they were both around like the same price. One of them was a little bit more expensive than the other. And I'm so sorry about the dishwasher. <laughs> I always turn it on at nighttime and I'm like, I totally forget that I want to film out here. So I apologize profusely. That's the dishwasher. Uh, but oil of, are these, is it still called oil of Olay or is it just called Olay? Olay Retinol 24 Max. I'll let you guys know, like if you want like a follow-up for how what I think about um, these products, let me know. I am just like so obsessed 
with skincare recently and I have been blessed with my cousins that are just back from the Philippines telling me all their skincare secrets. <laughs> and I have been like, kind of like, I don't know, I've just been like on a skincare, on a skin journey this whole quarantine. And I just like learned even more stuff with like new products that I am loving. So I'm kind of excited to try this and throw this into my routine. But like retinol is just like, retinol anything is really fantastic. So if you guys haven't tried it, retinol is very moisturizing and brings a ton of moisture into your skin and that is what you need to keep your skin looking beautiful, young, supple, and uh, wrinkle-free. So yeah, anyway, um, I think that's actually the end of the video. That is the end of the video. So that is all I got today at the thrift store. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below, let me know what you guys thought of what I found. Also let me know um, if you guys have found anything really cool recently, because I always love hearing about your finds as well. And also let me know what your favorite skincare product uh, down below. I love anything, I'll try anything, anything like, face peeling things, anything to like smoothen my face because I have a lot of acne scarring from my youth. I had a very troubled skin back in the day and I feel like I just like I'm covered in like acne scars. Like it's intense. So um, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. And I actually went thrifting this whole day and I got a ton of really great stuff and those videos are gonna go up throughout the week. So stay tuned, keep a lookout. I love you guys so much, be safe. Um, have a great day, have a great night, whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye.